Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your new equipment like your mobile cell phone to your older equipment like this 15 year old music system. Now this music system doesn't really get used much anymore because it just plays CDs and has an analogue radio. Most people now have things like iTunes or they stream their music directly via Spotify, both of which you can't put onto this thing. But if you spend a little bit of money, you can do. Now I'm going to show you two ways of doing it in this video. First way is nice and simple, you're just going to be plugging in a cable from your headphone jack on your phone into the aux in on your music system. But the better way of doing it, because it's kind of more modern, gives you more flexibility to move around the place, is to make it Bluetooth enabled. So by buying this little Bluetooth, this particular one is a receiver and a transmitter, you just need a Bluetooth receiver. By buying a Bluetooth receiver, you've kind of brought your equipment into the modern age. So I'm going to show you how to set that up now. Okay, so first of all I'm going to be showing you the wire technique because it's so easy, but you might not be able to do the wire technique if, for example, you've got the latest iPhone. But here, this phone here has a 3.5mm jack and on my stereo it has a 3.5mm aux in. So all we're going to be doing is plugging the 3.5mm cable into this end here. Now this is a 10 meter cable, but obviously you might only need a one or a two meter cable. The limitation is that you've got to constantly have your phone plugged into it. While if you go for the Bluetooth technique, which I'm going to show you afterwards, then it's nice and easy because you can bring this around the place and the uh, distance wise it works well up to about seven, eight meters away. So have a look at your equipment. If you have a look at the back of this one, it actually has an aux in. So here I've got an aux in. So I'm going to be plugging the other end of my 3.5 millimeter lead into there like so. If you don't have a 3.5 millimeter in, but you have a twin phono in, then it's fine because all you've got to do is get a little adapter like this and plug it in there like so, and then you end up with a twin phono left and right, or you might know it as an RCA. If you know that you've got twin phonos, then just get yourself a twin phono to a 3.5 milliliter lead, and then it saves you plugging in adapters. These leads are all available really cheaply from Amazon and eBay. So you plug that into there like so, and now we need to tell the stereo that we want it on the aux input because remember it doesn't know where the music's coming from whether it wants to play the CD or the aux input so have a look at your remote control and you should see a button that says input or source or this one here says aux MD stroke aux so I'm going to press that there and now whatever it hears on its aux in it will play out in the speakers so right now I'm just going to press play on Spotify here and if you have a listen now it's coming out the speakers here and you can control the volume and stuff from here. Yeah, so that's one way of doing it, nice and easy. Let's just put that on pause. If you recognise that song, that means you were probably a skateboarder from the 90s. Right, okay, now, the better way of doing it, I think, is via Bluetooth. Okay, so the Bluetooth method is also quite straightforward. What you'll have to do is you have to get yourself a Bluetooth receiver, not a transmitter. It has to be a receiver because remember, it is receiving the signal from the phone and then putting it into your stereo. So make sure you don't make the mistake of getting a transmitter. Get a receiver. This one here is a transmitter and a receiver depending on where I put the little switch over here. So over this side it transmits and over this side it receives. So then you have to pair it up with your phone like you pair any Bluetooth device. I'm not going to show you in this video, but it's straightforward. You just turn Bluetooth on on your phone, search for devices, you turn it on here, and then you put it into pairing mode by just tapping it twice, and then it's looking for a signal. Once they find each other, you press connect, and then it connects up. Good thing about it is once it's connected, it's really then simple. Every time you want to use it, you would just leave this plugged into the back here, into the aux again, just like before, and you just leave it like that. Now, this has around a seven hour battery life on it. So it's up to you. If you listen to a lot of music, you might want to permanently have it plugged into a power supply. So it comes with this little lead here, so you can plug it into a USB connector, but it doesn't come with the actual power supply. But if you have a mobile phone charger lying around the house from years ago, then all you've got to do is 
plug it into a supply like that and then to charge it you just plug the micro USB into the other side and you can leave that plugged in. It will play and charge at the same time. So with me, because I don't listen to music on this very often, I'm just going to leave it and every time it needs charging I'm going to plug it in. But if you were to listen to music every day, then that seven hours will quickly run out. So then you're going to probably leave it just plugged in all the time. You're not going to do it any harm by just leaving it plugged in all the time. So anyway, right now I've got my Bluetooth turned on on my phone. And all we have to do is turn this on and then you will see, I'm going to press play on, the, on here now. You will see it will kick in to the speakers once it connects. So I'm just going to press play. And at the moment it's going to be coming out of my speakers from the phone coming out of here and we're just going to press this button on here okay so it's looking now for a device and there we go you see now it's automatically connected up because I've previously connected it up and now it's coming through on the speakers here Now obviously to control it, you won't be able to press stop on here, it's not going to make a difference. The only thing you can do is the volume here. You're still going to have to control it from your phone itself. But at least now you can bring the phone around the house. So let me show you the sort of distance it will work. Right, so we'll leave this room. Let's try it in here now. So you can hear it's still working. So it's got a distance of around about eight meters. But obviously the more walls you go through, there you go, so it's stopped now. But now it's come back again. So now we're in another room. And then when you're finished with it, it's really easy. All you need to do is turn it off here and it will start working through the phone again. So then when you press play here, it's coming back through the phone. And if you decide you want it black on the Bluetooth again, you just turn it back on. And there you go, it starts playing through these speakers again. So you see, once you get it initially set up, it's really straightforward to use. Okay, so that's how you connect up your new equipment to your older equipment. For the sake of spending, this one here was just over 20 UK pounds. So it's a well worth investment and it saves you having to throw out your old hi-fi once you move your music over to something like Spotify and iTunes. Okay, hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.